Mike check, Mike check. I'm Mr. Batch. I'm glad you've clicked in so I can check in with you. I'm here with yeah, that's yeah, you like that, right? I like that. Yeah, I like that spiel also. I had to come up with something because when you're on the internet, you've got to be a little bit innovative. Yep. And you know, I this that's a combination of stealing stuff from people I listen to over the years. But in any event, <laughs> I'm here with my man Marty. We are kicking it about sports, and my man Marty's got an interesting subject. Marty, just kick it to him. I ain't gonna say. Anything. Okay. Now you know the Winter Olympics uh, coming from Vancouver is coming up on February 12th. Opening ceremonies. Right. Whole fortnight, you know, two and a half weeks or so of winter competitions and stuff. And it got me to thinking. What if you had the Winter Olympics here in New York? Think about it. Wait a minute. Um, I believe New York State is big enough to hold the Olympics. Now, I here's mean, the thing. I'm not talking about New York State. I mean, we've had Winter Olympic Games in Lake Placid twice. But I'm talking oh, yeah, about the big. Right. But I'm talking about here, the Big Apple, New York City. Well, that can be done because I think either a year or two years ago. Um, they had the snowboarding demonstration down on the east side of Manhattan near the uh, 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 um, Brooklyn Bridge and and and, uh, and the Williamsburg Bridge, and they built this this big ski ski joint about five stories high. Yeah, I mean that's one. But even if you didn't have that, the luxury of building, you know, temporary, you know, snow, you know, events like that. You know, you do have mountains, not, you know, up in like Bear Mountain or Hunter Mountain. Right, right. You know, right. which is still part of the New York City TV, you know, area. area. Um, but the most important things you have would be three, you know, sports venues that could support ice hockey, both men's and women's, short track speed skating, and figure skating. Wait a minute, are you talking indoors or outdoor, Marty? Now, we're talking the indoor events. Uh, obviously, the one outdoor thing you would need would be for the traditional speed skating, the long track speed skating. You have a few choices. You got, you know, the New Yankee Stadium. Yes. You also have, you know, City Field in Queens, the New Shea, whatever you want to call it. The New Shea. <laughs> or the New Shea, whatever you want to call it. You build a temporary outdoor, you know, speed skating track, you know, 40, 50,000, no problem. Easy. Yeah. Yeah, I would go. Yeah. I would I would go to an event like that. Yeah. That's pretty interesting, Marty, because you know, besides the fact that we have these major hockey teams in this area, what we've got three major hockey teams in this area. Yeah. Uh and you know, you can get ice time on any one of those rinks besides yeah. other rinks outside the professional rinks. But when he mentioned the outside venues of the two ballparks as being a possible venue for an event, I like that. Absolutely. The, uh, the other thing of importance too is where you have the opening and closing ceremonies. Now, if you want to, let's just say you got U City Field or the new Shea for the speed skating events, you can use Yankee Stadium as your opening and closing ceremonies if you want to keep it within, you know, city limits. City limits. Or as we would say, the five boroughs. Yeah. Or if you want the biggest venue possible for the opening and closing ceremonies, you can go across the river to the Meadowlands. 80,000 seats. You can't beat that. 80,000 seats. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh. Yeah, that's right. They would have a new stadium also. Yes. So this area, man, we've got a lot of stadiums. We've got a lot of places in order to have venues. Absolutely. And I would take them in, man, because I don't know, for some reason I like the speed skating. I love the bobsled, and that looks crazy. I would love to get in one of them joints. How fast do they go? 100 change? Uh, at least 100. At least 100, man. You, uh, 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 uh. Oh, I would love it. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, the crashes can be just as violent as the ones here on Grand Concourse. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, he was serious. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because it gets it, the Grand Concourse behind us. Well, I'm going to tell you where we're located. We're located in the uh, north. We're in the. This north is like, Central Bronx. This Grand north Concourse? Central? Yes, North okay, Central Bronx. Okay, this is the Bronx. North Central Bronx. We're in Edgar Allan Poe Park. Yes. yes, the famous Edgar Allan Poe. They have a uh, cottage here in this location, uh, his original cottage that he lived he lived in, which is a historical landmark. So Google it sometimes, guys, and you will know where Mr. Batch and his buddy Marty was doing this transmission from. Anything else you'd like to? Uh... The, the biggest thing for a possible winter, a proposed Winter Olympics here in New York would be that, unlike other cities and unlike, you know, for the summer games and stuff, New York wouldn't need to build too many, you know, any facilities because we have them. That's the biggest uh, selling point, really. We have the facilities.
facilities. We have all the facilities. Hold, to the whole hold thing. A, a proposed Winter Olympics. Uh, 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 there's not that many participants in the Winter Olympics versus the Summer Olympics. Am I correct in saying? That is true. Okay. Then. Having said that, though, um, for the Vancouver Games, um, they kept an existing sports arena that uh, the hockey team, the Canucks, abandoned about 12, 13 years ago. You're kidding me. They kept it open because of the possibility of the Olympics. Oh, man, so they didn't have to build a new facility. All they had to do was probably refurbish this one, get it up to date with the infrastructure so that they can do whatever, whatever, whatever. Exactly. That was a smart move. It's a smart move. They also have a college arena that they're using for, you know, for the games as well. Uh, they did have to build a, uh, a speed skating uh, uh, arena and a lot of other, um, and they're using, you know, nearby Whistler Mountains for uh, all the skiing events and the snowboarding and stuff like that. As well as the is Bob, awesome. as well Sean as the, White is the man. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> on that note, it's adios time. That's right. We out of here like we stole some. Peace.